Hey there, music fans. Uh, welcome back to The Real Music Observer. This is Dave, of course, observing real music in real time for real people just like you and, and me. Me. That's true. I'm observing myself in these videos. It's, uh, it's a little bit scary. Dean Castronovo. Hey, dude. Shout out, first of all. You are, are one inspirational guy, okay? A couple years back, <laughs> things didn't look good for Dean. Um, haven't discussed it too much on here, but uh, domestic violence, drugs and alcohol, uh, real serious stuff, of course. Journey said bye-bye, and uh, Steve Smith came back. And very different style drummer, too. Steve Smith, more of a classical orchestral player, Castronovo, <laughs> like hell on wheels uh, on a drum kit. I mean, the guy's insane. Uh, and by the way, Dean can sing, as uh, I alluded to a couple videos ago. Uh, brand new song by the Revolution Saints just dropped, and some lyrics from the tune Light in the Dark. There's a heaven, there's a hell, I was down so low, I couldn't tell. I knew there was a light to see, it was burning deep inside of me. We all need to rise above, and all you need is love. The second part of that is actually sung by Jack Blades, and the lyrics go on. Light in the dark, uh, definitely inspired by a real-life Dean Castronovo experience. And why do I say he's inspirational? First of all, every interview I've ever seen of Dean after this happened, he was repentant, he was sorry, uh, he was not blaming anybody but himself. People kept saying, well, you think it's the drugs? You think it's the alcohol? And, and uh, Dean said, well, they exacerbate the problem, but it's me, it's me. Uh, I'm the one who has to own up to my mistakes and my problems. And here he is in one of the most famous rock bands of all time, and they give him a pink slip, and rather than kind of fold up like a cheap tent, Dean goes out there, works his ass off, gets into a Betty Ford-like program, comes out of it, has a renewed faith, I believe, in himself and God, which, as I've said on this particular channel, we're okay with God. <laughs> For all of you Jonathan Cain haters out there, we're okay with God, all right? So I think it's awesome that this guy, first of all, took responsibility, got help, and is back, and he seems like he's having a blast. Uh, Jack Blades, and this dude, Doug Aldrich, oh my! I mean, it's like a rocket sled down the side of a mountain listening to this guy play guitar. Uh, had to do a little background info on Doug. I, you know, I heard his name before and didn't follow his career or anything like that, but Dio, White Snake back to the 80s. I think he had his own band or was in a band that uh, eventually dissolved, but phew, this dude's got chops. The intro he plays on Light in the Dark, <laughs> I'm not sure there are a lot of guitar players uh, that could handle that intro. Just saying, not mentioning any names or initials. We're going to just keep it above board here. We're not going to talk about it. I promise. Not going to say anything. Didn't say a word, did I? No. <laughs> All right. So, bottom line is great music. Jack Blades from Night Ranger is in on this project. And for you Journey fans, especially where Journey is beginning to wrap up their world tour, the end is near on, what, July 31st? It's the end, so we're getting really close. Uh, all I can say is this is a nice little diversion uh, and everybody's kind of looking forward to the rest of the album. Dean, by the way, like I say, he can sing, and not only does he sing the phone book, he sings the internet, okay? Somebody pointed out to me that phone books are kind of obsolete, even though they threw one close to my mailbox about a week or two ago, and I was in shock, and I was looking across the, the street to see maybe if they installed a payphone, but <laughs> no payphone, <clears throat> and, um, you know, the phone book went into the circular file. So, Dean Castronovo, a guy who's able to sing the internet, okay? 
Light in the Dark. Go check it out. Frontiers has it. I don't always like the stuff Frontiers does. This is right on the edge of having a little too much compression, but actually I think it really is Doug Aldrich. It's not compression. I mean, this dude, you got to listen to his guitar playing. And to see Jack Blades from Night Ranger up there singing and also appearing to have a great time, he's a guy that loves life and loves to be part of a damn good project. You know, pun intended there, damn Yankees and anyway, Night Ranger. So check it out. I am pumped, though, because Dean Castronovo, you are an inspiration. You are the real deal. Uh, a guy who made some big mistakes, but seems to have adjusted and come back strong and he is teaching the rest of us how to recover from something stupid okay so that's just um, what this video is truly about Dean this buds no I can't give you a bud anymore but okay this shout out is for you man you have a great day everybody else too talk to you soon